al mushtaquuna ila al jannah those who desire paradise work for it they strive for it brothers and sisters in islam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described a mu'min in this life and he said ad dunya sijn al mu'min wa jannah al kafir it is the prison of a mu'min of a believer and it is the paradise of a kafir one who rejects allah yes it is a paradise because they believe that this is the only life they're going to live it's only one life they say it's a short life so we might as well make the best of it get as much as we can from it a mu'min doesn't think that way he sees that everything in this world always calls him and her to doing haram things it makes it difficult for us to worship allah correctly and sincerely it makes it difficult especially in our time today where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there will come a time when al-qabidu ala dinihi kal qabidu ala jamratin min nar the one who is holding on to his religion is like one who is holding on to a coal of fire it's intense it's difficult brothers and sisters but it is not difficult upon the one who anticipates a great reward in the hereafter la wallah abadan imagine you are a prisoner or imagine you are an outcast a stowaway and you're stuck on an island or you are in a strange land you have no family you have no food you have no water and you just anticipate to getting back to your family back to your home imagine what kind of a feeling that type of a person would be feeling when he is in a strange land imprisoned encaged he will do anything and struggle in any way just to get back to his family get back to his home get back to security wouldn't he sometimes even if it meant his life if he's drowning and he is stuck in the water he will struggle and strive in every way even if it meant that he has to use the last piece of energy and breath that he has in order to reach land ad dunya sijn al mu'min the world is like a prison for a mu'min a mu'min one who desires allah one who desires paradise that's a mu'min are you one of them brothers and sisters if you desire paradise then you work for it and we some people think that if you worship allah you should not work desiring paradise you should only work because you desire allah only but this is wrong and this is not the aqidah of a muslim because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran ya'budunahu taw'an wa karha they worship allah in hope and in fear taw'an wa karha wa tam'a and also greedy for jannah because in the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if their companion was in need you would find that one of them subhanallah the one typical companion would always put his brother in his place allah says in the quran wa yu'tiruna ala anfusihim wa law kana bihim khasasa and they would deny themselves things when they themselves needed it in order to provide it for their brothers in islam yes if they were attacked by some people they would go out and they would beat each other to the battlefield to defend the women and the children not only that the companions would race each other and he would find in those days read the sira a companion would grab his brother from behind in his shirt and he would pull him to the back throwing him behind him why because he says to his brother wallahi you will not die before me i will defend you instead of you defending me i will not you defend me i am not better than you this is how they work they loved each other to that extent because they loved paradise and they wanted to meet in paradise